Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm currently sitting in my closet and I'm about to hotbox this bitch with this nice ass backwood that I just rolled up. I ain't gonna lie, I think this thing's gonna smoke really nice. I've kind of been working on my backwood rolling skills. I've been smoking them a lot more recently and my confidence levels in my rolling skills is really going up. So I'm excited to see how this bitch smokes. Um, and I really need the smoke. Because <laughs> I've had a hell of a day, you guys. I'm about to... This video is going to be a Q&A. I went on Instagram and asked y'all to ask me a bunch of questions. So I have them pulled up here on my phone. But before I get into that, I just need to have a little rant moment <laughs> with y'all. Because I have had quite the fucking day. Let me just say that. Like, holy shit. So, <laughs> first, when we uh, spark this blown up, because I fucking need it. Cheers. I hope you're smoking with me. I hope you're in your closet smoking too. <laughs> and if you're not, you should totally go in your closet and spark up a blunt with me. <clears throat> There's just something about hot box in the closets. My closet's pretty big too, so I'm excited to see how smoky this bitch gets. <laughs> I'm gonna record me like opening the door after this video and see how much rolls out. All right, y'all, cheers. cheers. Like I said, my rolling skills is getting a lot better. Hell yeah. I really need this blunt, y'all. I'm smoking on some Concord Crush. It's been my go-to strain lately. But yeah, y'all. Let me uh, let me have my little rant moment first, and I'm going to get into these questions. So today's been quite the eventful, busy fucking day. Um, I hired this girl here in Denver to do a photo shoot, shoot for me in downtown. So I met her at 12. It was super fun time. The pictures look amazing. I can't wait to get them and post them on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you totally should. I'm about to post some fire content. But, <clears throat> anyways, we were doing our photo shoot, you know, having a good time. And she tells me to sit down on the concrete. And I wasn't thinking, and my phone was in my back pocket. And y'all, I literally busted the shit out of the back of my phone when I sit down. And the front, front screen, you can't really tell on the front, um, but I can. And, holy shit. So when I sit down, like my billfold was in my back pocket with my phone and my billfold or my wallet has like a metal spike on it. So it literally like stabbed my phone and it sounded like a bone broke <laughs> when I sat down on the concrete and I was like, oh shit. And I've literally had this phone for a week. I'm not even joking you guys. I know it looks like the same one I've had the past year, but I broke that one like a week and a half ago and I had Apple Care, so I went and got a new one for a good price. And I was like, hell yeah, I got a brand new phone. It wasn't out that much money. <laughs> and then I broke this one. So I'm like, fuck yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to make do. Because I know the new iPhones are coming out next month. And so I might wait and get that. I don't know what I'm going to do. But that's not even like, that's not even the worst part of my day. So after the photo shoot wrapped up, I was driving home. It was pouring the fucking rain. Had some Chick-fil-A, you know. Ate that shit. And I was at like five minutes from my house. And I was at a red light pouring rain like I said and all of a sudden this bitch runs into, my, into the back of my jeep and like my I like fly forward and like fly back and my head slams into like my head headrest thingy but luckily it was like my headrest is soft like cloth so it didn't really hurt that bad I came home and laid in bed for like two hours because my head felt kind of weird and every now and then I get like a pressure in the back of my head. I don't know. I've never been in a car wreck like that before. But luckily she ran into the... Hang on. Let me take a hit. But luckily when she hit my Jeep, she ran right into the wheel on the back of my Jeep. Um, like you know how Jeeps have like wheels mounting on the back. So luckily I had that on there and she ran right into that. And my jeep's perfectly fine i was like holy shit like i was in shock because it hit so hard like it jarred the fuck out of me <laughs> when my phone went flying and shit so i was like yo my jeep is totally fucked up got out in the pouring rain went around to look at it and it was perfectly fine however it did fuck her car up like it fucked her hood up and everything and uh she was like you know what i don't even care yours is fine fuck mine like, I don't care. And I was like, okay, cool. I don't care either. So I got in my car and left and came home. <laughs> so that was like, that was that. Um, I don't know, I feel like most people would have like called the police or like something. But I was like, fuck, this is the last thing I want to deal with. I just want to go home. <laughs> that was like 20 minutes after this phone happened. I was like, oh my God. But it's okay. I'm not here complaining. Or maybe I am complaining to you guys. But I'm really disadvantaging because I'm not even that mad. It, it could always be worse, you know, so... 
But anyways, I have some questions pulled up and I'm gonna answer them and chit chat with y'all. Also, I kinda wanna take a shot first. I bring some alcohol in here. I think I'm gonna take a little shot. I fucking deserve it after, after that, <laughs> after today. <laughs> Alrighty, cheers y'all. I have some Gatorade to chase it. That's what I always use so I don't get dehydrated. All right, down the hatch. Mm. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna go get all these questions. There was a lot, so I just kind of screenshotted like all of them. <laughs> Someone is gonna answer them randomly. First question I see is, are you gonna get another face tap? I don't know. I've been thinking, I think about it a lot, but I'm really trying to focus on the rest of my body right now. Like my arms are basically almost filled up and uh, I wanna work on my chest next and my tummy and my legs. So I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna get a face tattoo again eventually, but it probably won't be in the near future. However, I'm definitely going to. I don't I have a few ideas. I think it would be cool if I put something here because I have this sword over here. So I thought it'd be cool if maybe I put like a um pitchfork or whatever the fuck it's called here. I don't know. I have ideas, but it's just ideas for now. And I would love to put something up here eventually. I don't know. Sometimes I'm I'm really content with what I have over here. I really think this is a good face tat setup so far. And I'm I don't regret it at all. But who knows? In the future I might and I might not. Who knows? We shall see. Do you think anyone really has a perfect purpose in life? Oh, damn. That's kind of a deep question. And I mean, shit, I feel like... I feel like you just have to find your purpose in life. Or it'll just come to you naturally. Like, you know, most people who, like, have their passion in life, I feel like they find it at a really early age or it just kind of comes to them naturally at some point in their life, you know? But... Maybe that's not the point you were asking. Um, if life has a purpose in itself, I mean, shit, I don't know, I guess we'll find out when we die. Because <laughs> if you die and there's nothing, then what was the point of this, you know? Like, why, why did I go through all this shit in my life just to die and there'd be nothing after it? So, I don't know, I hope something, I and I truly believe after you die, like, something else will happen. I don't know what, I'm not necessarily, like, super religious. But, I mean, it's just, bro, the world is in fucking sane. I've said this before and it's just like, bro, the world is perfectly tilted to where we can survive on it and have seasons and like, we have the atmosphere and like all that shit that protects us. It's just like, bro, how did this happen? <laughs> like what? Bro, I've been getting a lot of questions about money and how do I make money? So obviously my OnlyFans, that's not even the main part of my income. I mean, it's a, a good part, but my only, my YouTube channel makes more than that, and my merch makes more than both of those combined, and then some, so, yeah. I don't know, it just kind of adds up. I do sponsorship deals as well. Um, have you ever experienced depression? Hell yeah. I mean, shit, has anyone not... Has anyone, like, went through life perfectly and never had anxiety or depression? I don't even think that's possible. Like, honestly, I feel like that's something everyone has went through. At least anxiety. I don't know about depression, but I've definitely dealt with it myself. Um, in sixth grade, I actually just made a video on my STFB Matthew channel talking about my life and struggle with that type of shit. So if you want to know more about that, you should go to my STFB Matthew channel. It's more personal. The next question is, where is the next place you want to move? Um, I don't know. I've always, as you guys know, I've always wanted to move to LA. So I definitely see that happening in the future. I don't know when. And I don't know if I'm going to stay in Denver when my lease is up. Fun fact, my lease ends at this apartment on February 22nd, 2022. So the date is literally 2 2 2 2, two, two. And that's the day my lease ends. And I was like, holy shit. When I was signing my lease, I saw that. And I was like, wow. Maybe that's a good sign. That I'll be on to better things after this. Who knows? But, yeah, if... Not LA, I might just stay here another year. I fucking love Denver, it's amazing. Like, I have no regrets whatsoever coming here and I'm really glad I did. 
this was a really good choice. <laughs> and I finally got to the point where I know my way around the city and I don't have to use a GPS anymore, so it's really cool. Best high school stories? Probably the time I got drunk, the first time I ever got drunk in my life was in the library at high school, my senior year. And we snuck water, no, 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 we snuck vodka in inside of water bottles. <laughs> and I remember I was so fucked up, I ended up in the girls' bathroom, but I've told this story before. Um, <clears throat> next question, do you ever plan on quitting smoking? And do you only smoke weed or also cigs? So, I do smoke cigarettes. I'm working on trying to quit. I need to quit. I smoked them since 2017, and uh, it is what it is. But as far as smoking weed, I'll, probably, I'll definitely smoking weed the rest of my the rest of my life. You know, I enjoy it. If I live to be an old man, I'm gonna be an old man smoking gas. <laughs> but. Who knows? I heard that Willie Nelson just quit smoking. I'm pretty sure. Maybe that was just a false rumor, but you can look it up. I guess time will tell. People change over time. Mm. It's getting real smoky in here. I know that. <clears throat> are you comfortable with where you are in life? Mm, I would say so. I'm very proud of myself and like I'm happy with everything I've accomplished so far. But I wouldn't say I'm like comfortable to the point where I can just like not stress about my future or anything like that. Because I definitely do stress about my future and like, you know, stuff like that. Cause, but I also love the way I'm living my life and I wouldn't have it any other way because I don't know what's going to happen next. And I fucking love that. And it's really motivating because I have to be motivated in a way. But I don't know, I, I, I love, you know, I'm really content with where I'm at right now. And I'm really confident in my future. So, um. I would say I guess I am, but at the same time, if you get too comfy, you get knocked off. So you can never be too comfy. <laughs> I think that's a Drake lyric. So, where do you see yourself five years from now? Possibly still doing YouTube. Um, I would hope in five years from now I'm still doing YouTube. I plan on it. You know, like I never plan on quitting. I've come this far. Hell no. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing this shit till the day I die. But in five years, I'll be 27. So, I don't know, that seems like a long ass time away, but I guess we'll see in five years. You can't predict the future. 27. <laughs> what does your dad think about your tattoos now? Um, he doesn't, I've not seen him in person since April. and I've gotten a lot of work added since April. So, I'm excited when I go home here in a week or two to visit, to see what his reaction is going to be. And I think when he picks me up at the airport, I'm going to like record when I get in the truck and get his reaction because he'll see the bat and like I have so many more tattoos on my arms since the last time he saw me. And oh, I have this face tattoo he's not seen in person yet, the peace sign. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm definitely going to record that shit and see how he reacts. But honestly, like we have FaceTime so he knows I'm tatted up and shit, but um, he's kind of accepting now, like, he's got to the point where he, there's nothing really he can do about it, you know, I'm a grown adult making my own money and doing my own thing, so, like, what is he gonna do? Um, he's not, like, for it or, like, super stoked that I'm, I have tattoos on my face, but at the same time, you know, he's, he's cool about it. If you could change your career, what would you be? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe like a lottery winner <laughs> who like doesn't have to work at all. Or if I had to choose a real job, I'd probably do like a vet, a veterinarian. I like animals. Although I don't know if I could do surgery on one. That sounds really, eh, I'm not squeamish with like blood or anything. It's just, it makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> like the thought of having to do that on an animal. Like I can't, I don't think I could. plans for a pet. Um, I don't really have, actually I've been wanting to get a cat. I really have, but I wish I could get Kurt back. But my friend basically has adopted Kurt as, as her own. And I told her a few days ago, I was like, yo, if you want to ever give Kurt back, or if you ever get tired of Kurt, I will take him. And she was like, no, he's mine. I adopted him. <laughs> so I was like, fuck. It's all good though. He's in good arms. I'm going to see him when I go back home. Next question. How much money have you spent on tattoos? Ooh. This is a really good question. I don't know, 
to the exact dollar. I kind of wish now that I've done this that I made like a notes in my phone with like the price of each just so I could like know. But I genuinely don't know off the top of my head. However, I do roughly know like how much I paid for each tattoo. So I'm going to go through after like this video is over and count them all and get a rough estimate and see how much it adds up to. Because I do mostly remember like how much I paid. Like this was 300 for this hand, my knuckles. I got this with this on the same day and I think I paid 160 so yeah I, I pretty much remember all my prices i don't know why is that weird can you guys remember your tattoo prices who's your celebrity crush i feel like i've answered this before actually i have um i would say louis capaldi <laughs> i know that's probably not the person you guys are expecting me to say but yeah i would have to say him or like ruby the cherry from suicide boys Next question. Someone said, not a question, but a suggestion. I miss the long hair. Honestly, I really miss the long hair as well, so you're not alone there. And actually, I've been thinking about it recently, and I kind of do want to quit dyeing it and let it grow back out, like, the way it was. Because I really do miss it. Like, I've been looking, or I've been getting Snapchat memories. <clears throat> you guys know how Snapchat will, like, notify you and say one year ago today well i've been getting a lot of those recently and i i get really sad because i'm like damn bro my hair was luscious a year ago today now it's gone <laughs> so i don't know i think in 2022 i think the hair might come back we shall see someone said what is the dumbest thing you've done while high so i've actually tweeted this before And, uh, I had this thing where I, I keep fucking doing this shit, and it's so stupid. It's like a what the fuck moment. And, so I'll get home, I'll park my car and shit, I'll go to my apartment, and I'll be walking up to the door, and I don't think I have the keys in here, but yeah, I'll have my car keys. And you guys know how on your car keys there's a button to press to unlock your car doors? I don't know what it's fucking called, but you'll be walking up to your car, you'll press the button, it unlocks. Well, I'll walk up to my fucking front door and press the fucking button like it's going to open it. <laughs> Instead of sticking the key in it. And I fucking do that. So I, I do it at least once a month. Maybe once every two months, something like that. But whenever I do it, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> so... I notice I always do that shit when I'm high too. <laughs> Someone said, how does it feel to live alone in a big city? It's really cool. I mean, I actually know two people here. There's one person I went to high school with that lives here, but we don't really hang out. And one of my cousins lives here, but I don't really know them that well. So it's, I'm not super alone, but I've never hung out with anyone that I know, like either of them here. So I moved here completely like in not knowing anything or anyone. And it's still kind of that way. And I don't regret it at all. I think it's super fun. And if you have the opportunity or you can do that in your life, you should definitely fucking do it because I, it's so cool. You, th it's, it's, it's like an experience. And it's, I lived in Kentucky until I was fucking, what, 20 years old? Yeah, 20 years old. Like, that's crazy. And just to come somewhere that I've never been before and fucking move there and sign a year lease was, it's just like, I'm glad I did it. And I'm, you know, I have no regrets. And I feel really lucky to, like, be able to do this. And if what if it wasn't for you guys, I would still be in Kentucky. So I just, you know, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. Like, I really do fucking love you guys. So, um, yeah, it, it's really dope. So, yeah, you guys, I, this blunt is just about done. I love how I'm just ashing the floor. Oh, well, this thing's just about done. And, uh... I'm pretty, I'm pretty cooked. I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm in this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, my closet's pretty fucking smoky. My clothes are going to be smelling really good. So yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I fucking love you all. And until the next one, stay motherfucking blazed. Yes, sir. Imagine if I just drunk that.